Hey, what's good? And welcome back to more Armor Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. So as I go ahead and put together some of the Build My AC series videos, I figured I'd go ahead and toss in a few where I show off builds I've made. Um, one that I recently just made was actually what you see on the screen here, which is Bile. Um, Iron Blood Orphans is one of my more favorite Gundam series, mainly because it doesn't feature your traditional, like everyone's using a beam weapon, you know, beam weapons are one hit KOs and stuff. It's actually during a time where they're all using ballistic um, weaponry. So you all saw that if you've been watching the series, um, you saw that I went through a majority of my first playthrough using a Barbados Lupus Rex kind of build. And then I also did a video where I kind of featured weapons I think would go with it if somebody decided to make a mod of it. Well, I decided to go ahead and uh, build Bio because I thought it was a really cool Gundam that didn't get a lot of like shine or love to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show the build off real quick. So what we got here are the Order 66Es, I guess. Yeah, I was I was going back and forth between using a Pulse Blade one because in this game you can't equip two melees. So I would have did like double Pulse Blades, but since we can't do two, double melees yet, I thought, okay, well, the Worger 66E kind of looks like a uh, sword, like two short swords, and it kind of, in their charge forms, almost act like a uh, melee. So I was like, okay, we'll go ahead with that, and then we'll go ahead with the ELPW01 Trono, uh, Trano, Truno, to act as its wings, because the bio actually does have ballistic weaponry in its wings. It just wasn't used as much. Um, in the series, so actually, we're gonna do one more thing to this as well. Yeah, we're just gonna give it the nice little shine that it deserves to make these blades pop a little bit. There we go, make these blades pop a little bit. So, anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go through a mission, and the one that I like to play the most sometimes is Breach Carmen line. Let's see how well this does against uh, Rusty, since his build is very similar. Um, there you go, you guys can see like what it is and what it entails and stuff. Um, but yeah, so let's see how we do. Main system, activating combat. I also realized I just did a whole bunch of talking and a little bit of time. So now with this build, I haven't really fine-tuned the core, so that's the reason why we're actually gonna play this mission. Um, I keep redlining a lot. Alright, there we go. Um, so I haven't really fine-tuned the core just yet. So it's kind of like a uh, hit or miss. But this mission, I know that I'll, I'll have infinite kind of boosting, so... Yeah! Oh, okay. I only took one. Oh, okay. Game touch the health bar. Yeah, I know. Let's go. So as you can see, the I guess these are like the energy shotguns, and they're used up close. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like a small little beam, and to me, it feels like it's sort of like a sword stab, sort of like a jab and stuff. And that was actually one of the things that McGillis did when he was piloting the uh, bio was that he would simply he would do more stabbing motions than uh, actually slashing. Whoop, whoop. Well, I like this build a lot, actually. It's rather fast. Uh, look at it. And the other thing is that these, um, the overheat is really fast. Them, so the cooldown is quick, so you can easily um, get one and get another going. Pretty quick. My best advice to anyone who's playing this mission, keep your camera to, whoa, to the left of your AC. That way you can see all the missiles going on the way. I also recommend ducking under here to avoid uh, gunfire. Distance and fly over. And can I get to this one before it launches its next ball of missiles? I can. Ah! So it's almost like a pile bump here, um, if you think about it. Ooh, okay, I thought. Why do you got all nonsense? Uh, you are serious. Right, Taurus. 
Oh, yes. The thing is, the serious ones die first, so we should at least pretend to be happy. Eight interceptors down. Pretend to be happy? I'm having a blast out here. This is one of the best missions yet. in the game. Granted, you can only get it when you do the, uh, I guess, what's considered the bad end of the game, but still, it's one of the best missions. All right, let me check. Oh, I need to use the elevator. Uh, darn it. Darn it. <laughs> I didn't mean to spam both. I try, when I'm playing um, with two builds, I try to keep the That's ammo like the same. All right. What's that? We're under attack? I'm already I'm almost there already. This build is crazy. I also apologize if I sound stuffy or nasally. Where I live, the weather's been crazy. One day it's 60 degrees, the next day it's 40, the next day it's 70, the next day it's like 40 again. So my allergies and sciences have been like going Here crazy. We are, buddy. That was right all along. How perfect would it be if somebody had modded Gaileo's ace, uh, Gaileo's gun over that, the Kamara Svidar. Kinda look like the Kamara, actually. Right? Oh well, anyways. Gaileo! You realize you're no match against me. They've always been after a gun, taking what they can get. Someone has to put an end to this injustice. Don't look at me, tourist. Just make sure you win this. Where did this resolve come from? Must have chosen something and sacrificed something. Check the tapes. I didn't get hit. Check the tapes. I won't stop. Chase the clouds from over Rubicon. I can fly high enough. Got it. You've never been a match for me. You flew just out of reach. Buddy. I love this build! <laughs> Ah, so nice. Buddy, huh? Do him a favor, tourist. Remember him. <laughs> Ooh. I never get tired of seeing that. I mean, not that, you know, it's like a tower getting destroyed, but I never get tired of just seeing, like, how the beam just flies in so quickly. My thing that's always bothered me is like the trajectory satellite of the satellite cannon, cannon right? Like, right. it hit it horizontal, no so how how a satellite can up there, but it hit like, did it just like shoot down on the curve or something? Them. Like, <clears throat> that's all right. We don't, we don't ask, you know, like, how's that happen? We just enjoy the story. Ooh, S rank as well. Ammunition cost definitely up there. Yeah, so I mean, that's um that was a that was a really fast video this <laughs> oh man this, this is this is a really fast tape um maybe i should just do another mission real quick so i know a lot of times i do the baltes mission and that one you know i, I don't want to like keep you know bugging you guys with that actually this one would be kind of interesting to try so we'll go ahead and we'll see if we can try this one um if not, then we'll probably end the tape. But this one's actually kind of interesting to see. Let's see. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can take out the sea spider with this. Oh, man. I just realized I'm limiting, limiting myself again. Oh. 
might just have to run the whole thing. Now, when I say I'm limiting limiting myself, what I'm basically saying is that um, main system activating combat mode. To me, whenever I build like a Gundam style kind of build, you know, I think I might take the shine off. This thing. This, they look nice and all, but the color just don't look right sometimes. Ah, uh, getting back to my point, when I build a Gundam style kind of AC, I want it to function like it does in whatever show or uh, this elevator goes straight to the top or of the uh, manga that no came show. from. So Sadly, that's technically, the uh, the bio, the bio the you know, it's swords. <laughs> swords don't shoot beams. So. That means I have to keep using the charged themselves. stuff. I mean, granted, yes, you can already say, well, you're not really, you know, using a melee build because you're shooting beams out of your, you're shooting, like, uh, focused beams out of them. Correct. But once again, I've explained that it's jabbed. It's jabbed as well. But, no. Uh, I mean, you all, you all get it. But, what if we just get it? So if I get hit by that, all right, here's what we're gonna do. Fly right through. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna fly right through. Up down here. Drop down here. Up down here. Nowhere to hide now. Ooh, I hope I can make it. Don't get fried. Nice moves, tourist. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Oh, crap. I forgot about this. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're not far from the cargo launcher. Intruder detected near closed facility. Yep. Might as well clean up while Come you're on. here, tourist. Come on. Never did care for the upstairs neighbors. There they come. Here we go! You see, you see how, see what I mean by, ah, okay, all right, do one more. <coughs> you know what? Ah, okay. I don't mind this happening. That's what I like to see. Not bad. Let's get the cargo launcher ready. There. Uh, we don't really need to respawn. it, do we? Now, if you could just step inside. Wait, what's that? Is that a mobile armor? Not bad. Oh, he stunned me. Say, where am I? Where are my uh, back cannons going? That was a waste. Push back, tourist. Oh shit! There we go. There we go. This wasn't Aniku Kairu. This wasn't Anika Kairu's uh, personal Gundam for no reason. Now we're taking out mobile armors with this thing. How about we get back on track? Hop in the container. I'll operate the launcher from here. Yeah, 
definitely need to fine tune its score. If y'all got a suggestion for um, uh, a generator for this kind of build, let me know. I mean, I kind of want to stick with the uh, archivist style ones because, like, like I was saying earlier, you know, if I'm using, if I'm building something from a series, I kind of want to match everything. So, Bio has blue thrusters. So I kind of want to stick with the archivist kind of style. Um, Archibus style uh, generators. I don't need to. We don't need to see this. We are S rank two. Yes. Ooh, you'd love to see it. Okay. All right. So yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and. So right now I'm using not the group. Well, actually, I was using um. I was using the BST G two. And it has better thrust. Maybe I might need to consider. Actually, it's boost speed goes way up for that. That'd be even faster. Uh, actually, you know what? We might just. Yeah, I think I might just go ahead and keep these. So thrust goes all the way up. So I'll be a lot faster now. But the problem is that. that um. Originally, I might just need to go back. To, I was using this core, but I guess the energy capacity was just too low for me. But I might just need to actually earn a shortfall and shortfall. Now this one, but I'm concerned about the supply recovery if I use the VE20C. 357. What's the only one? 365. My boost speed goes up. Well, either way, I mean, well, it's only two. It's just. No, I think we'll go back to the VP twenty C. We just have to be cautious about um about what we use it for. But yeah, but that's it. So I actually oh, save this too. Uh uh wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's take the shine off those. It looks nice. It looks nice sometimes, but eh. I found that um, zero for reflectiveness for some parts of the unit just fit better. Save and last but not least, that. Um, if you guys want to see it real quick, decals for the legs. Anyone does that? No. Decals for the leg just. Big blue squares, just put them, um, just size them down. All you do is size them down to that kind of size. Same with the uh, legs. So that's pretty much, so that's really just the, that's really just the build. So but yeah, so that's going to be it for this tape. Um, I am going to go ahead and keep working on the other ones uh, for the build of my AC series. So once again, if the deadline hasn't passed yet, depending on when this one is, um, Definitely drop your comments on that video, or if the deadlines are passed, then drop your comments on the next one. Let me know um, what builds you want to see me using. But also, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and continue to throw in a couple that I think off the top of my head, or a couple that uh, I've built before. I know there's one that I definitely want to show off, so I might record another video after this uh, to show that one. But that'll be it. So that's it for this tape. Until next time, keep the vibe and rewind. Peace. Let's get to work, shall we?